Hey everyone, Fastlane Dad. How's it going? First video I've done for a while. Last one was, uh, what was it now? Hmm. That's right, how to unscrew some jar lids if, uh, if they're a bit too tight. So if you've if you enjoyed that, then thanks very much for watching. Thanks for liking it. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This one's a bit more of a general sort of video. So it's the first time I've done this. So leave any feedback, any comments down below if, uh, if you so wish. Of course, all feedback's a gift, isn't it? That's the way we like to look at things. Good or bad, doesn't make any difference. Just appreciate you guys coming in and watching and, uh, and sticking around, so thanks for that. Right, this is basically a post Toff Mudder, apre Toff Mudder, if you will, uh, review of what I wore and how it all went. So, first of all, we'll start with what I wore. We'll start with the top. So it was basically an Under Armour compression top. Nothing special, just a basic one from a local sports store. It was all good, nice and tight, didn't really have any problems with it, so that was great. My old Pearl is Yumi running shorts, they're a bit short short, they don't smell so bad anymore. But the cool thing is they've got a little zip pocket here look. So the thing that was, uh, that was appealing about wearing these again, apart from the fact that they're a bit old and wrecked, is the fact that they've got a little zip pocket so I could put a couple of gels in there. And that worked well. They worked well. They were good. Uh, underneath those, a pair of old pair of two XUs. They were good, fine. I thought there might be a bit of mud seepage under here, and you know, getting down here and just rubbing, and but it was fine. It wasn't overly muddy in Sydney this year, so they worked well. Uh, just a short pair of socks, just little bonds. Mm, could have done with being a bit longer. A good friend of mine on Facebook did point out that they're probably a bit short. She'd done it before and she wore football socks. And uh, well, Nanette, you were right. I did need football socks. Finally, the shoes, the runners. I wore these, they were the Reebok H2O Drain. So they let the water out, the 360 grip. They're quite grippy, look. So for running around the farmland, they were spot on for um, for getting up the slippery obstacles, a bit tough, they didn't really give a lot of grip, so I might review my footwear choice if I do it again. But I mean, essentially, a good, strong, stable sort of shoe. Um, just really happy with that choice. Then we'll move on to the tech. First of all, we'll start with the, uh, the trusty old Drift. The Drift Ghost HD, tough as old nails. And of course, if you haven't seen one before, you can rotate the lens, they're pretty cool. And of course it's got the nice display. I basically wore that on my head. So it just sat nicely in here. If I can get it in. Where are you? There you go. Bang. In we go. So it just sat there and ran around. And it videoed well. And it was, uh, surprisingly, it's very stable. So there's a few shots of me running around or you know, some video shots of us running and it's very stable. The mic's not great, uh, purely because it got full of mud and <laughs> water, funnily enough. Uh, so that didn't, the sound didn't come out very well. And of course, it's got the waterproof back on, which is where you would ordinarily have a little lead coming out for your external mic, but it wasn't gonna happen this time. Then finally, we have this. This is new. This is not even launched yet. This is the HTC Re. So we'll do a little quick review on it. It's waterproof and the guys at Telstra, they said, we want you to take this. I said, okay. So we went to HTC to pick it up and I've got to be honest, I was in the meeting room with the guys and I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm holding it and I'm thinking, I'm gonna lose this, I'm gonna break this. If you're prepared to take a chance, then, uh, then fair enough. It is a phenomenal little camera, and it survived, and I didn't lose it, and I didn't break it, despite my best efforts. <laughs> uh, and so essentially, you, you hold it, and you press the button, and it takes a photo, and it's as simple as that. And then, if you want to take some video, the mic is actually very good, the mic's there on the top. And so you press and hold, little beep beep noise, and you're videoing, hello. Hi, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, press it once to stop. And it does slow-mo. So if you go to flip out or somewhere and the kids want, Dad, will you take slow-mo? Sure. 
you just press and hold, there's a little button at the front here, just there underneath the, uh, the little periscope bit. So you press and hold that, it makes a big noise. And you get a little blue light. Yeah, if you can see that, a little blue light in the silver at the top there. Yeah. So that means it's in slow-mo mode. And then you go, and everything goes a bit slower. And then you go back to normal. Really is as simple as that. Just underneath, it's got a little uh, tripod mount and it's got a micro SD slot for charging and for downloading. And then also in here, you just flick that and you've got your little micro SD card slot, waterproof, of course. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly to get it out, but who cares? So we'll just try that. It makes a little noise when you take it out. Long nails are good. So there you go, little micro SD, simple as that. You can take it out and do it with a, an adapter in your PC or not. And then you just put it back in. I mean, you can download it all and transfer it all really simply anyway. And I'll show you how right now. So that's the RE, yet to be launched. Telstra are doing it here in Australia. Hopefully it'll be out for Christmas. Um, they're not sure on the price yet, um, but stick around, stay tuned. If uh, if I get any updates, I'll let you know. So how do we uh, how do we get these these pictures? Let's just take a few. I take a picture of the lizard. Okay, so pictures are taken. Got a HCC phone. You don't have to have a HCC phone. You can have a normal Android or iPhone and you just need the app. It's the re-app. Okay, so here, the re-app, and then it's connecting, Fastlane Dad, connecting to Fastlane Dad camera. Two, three, four, five, there we go. Five seconds it took to upload all of that. So, and there's the video, there's the camera, there's the, uh, the lizard, and there's me. Yay. And there's me in video. What does that do? Is that the slow mo? Oh yeah, that's the slow mo. And so it really is as simple as that, and the quality is phenomenal. If you're interested in a re, then keep your eyes on Telstra in Australia or or anywhere. I mean, if you're if you're in Morocco or in the UK or wherever, then uh, your local HCC people will tell you. And then the other cool thing, <laughs> there's another cool thing. There's more hands more. Uh, you can adjust all the settings so you can, so for example, that picture there, right? You wanted it in wide angle. There's a little, you can't really see it, but there's a little thing there and it will change it to wide angle. So it gives it a fish eye. And if you take one, you can set it up to take it all in fish eye. If you set it up to take it all in fish eye, you can then take it off fish eye with that little button. It straightens it out, which I think is fabulous. Just fabulous. Uh, also, finally, it also connects to, they've got a, another app called Zoe, right? So in the top here, this top one, you should see it move in a second, because it basically it's that one there. And then what you can do is you can select, right, let's just select four, okay, and go to next. This is in the Zoe app, saving to phone. And what happens now is it turns it into a video. Oh yeah, who's that dude? So you can upload different music if you want, whatever music's on your phone, you can upload that. I just think that is a phenomenal bit of kit. And, and also, you know, you think, why would I want another camera? I've got my phone, my phone's got a camera. Your phone can't do this though, can it? So, okay, I've got my, got my phone. I'll put it in my normal pocket, which is down here, and I'll get my re, and it's in my normal pocket, all right? So, I want to take a picture of you guys out there, okay? One, two, two seconds or less, I've got a picture of you with my re. How cool is that? Watch this. I want to take a picture of you with my phone. One, two, three, four, 
five, come on Cameron, six, seven, done, eight. Eight seconds. If that's something important, if it's your kids, you just got it in your pocket and it's there. One, two, bang. And you're into video, bang, bang. I just love it. I brought it home and Fasky one's like, ah, oh, we've got to give this back. Yes. And of course the question you're dying for me to answer is, would I take it on Tough Mudder again? Yes, I would. That little pocket I showed you in my shorts, uh, I would put it in there and I would take it out and I would video with it and I would take some pictures with it uh, and I would wear this on my head again to take all the stills, like take all the big footage and take all the little personal footage with that. So yes, I would definitely take it on Tough Mudder again. Yes, I would take the drift on Tough Mudder again. Also, let me show you this. Uh, this is the little holder I had. So it fits in there nicely. So it's, it's gonna come with a multiple myriad, whatever you think, call of holders. And also there's a little lock. So there's a little screw thing that you can screw it in and keep it safe. So it didn't fall out, which it didn't for me. This got a bit muddy and a bit cloggy, but essentially it was perfect. That's it for the Apparate Tough Mudder. Uh, what's gonna be on the next instalment? I don't know yet, but it will contain some of these things. It's gonna contain this. This is the Go Spiro Ollie, tough knot. Goes off road, does some crazy stuff. Also, Skylanders Trap Team, the Dark Edition. We're gonna have a bit of a play with that and see how we get on with that. Went to a launch a few weeks ago and the kids loved it, so we're gonna have a little play around with that. Thanks for watching. If you, uh, if you like it, then please give us a thumbs up. If, uh, if you like it even more than that, then feel free to subscribe. And uh, don't forget the blog, fastlanedad.com.au. That's it for me. Mostly, I'll be wearing this. See you soon.